Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been 22 and a half hours since my last confession. So here I am to unburden myself and receive absolution for my sins. I usually go over to St. Michael's Church, not your own lovely edifice, which I'm sure I could grow to love. They say if you've seen one confessional booth, you've seen them all. I disagree. Yours is very nice, but I am really very partial to the cherry wood, even though I'm sure all this tapestry is all fine and good once you get used to it. Oh, forgive me, Father. I don't mean to be critical of your church. I hope you are not taking this personally. So anyway, Father. Yesterday, I went over to the market. I saw just the nicest, juiciest red strawberries you ever did see. And I said to myself, I said, I ought to be getting some of these strawberries for Mama to be having on her ice cream after dinner tonight. I know, it's not a good idea for Mama to be having ice cream for dessert every night. But if she's going to be eating it anyway, she may as well have some strawberries to go on top of it, don't you think? So I picked up what I thought was the best basket of strawberries and I was about to put them into my cart when I noticed that there was one near the bottom that was actually turning mushy. Father, you know what happens when you get one mushy berry in a basket of all those good ones. That one mushy berry starts infecting all the other berries and you can just forget about having those strawberries on your ice cream. I do. The deed was done. I was surprised that the cashier didn't see me blush. Have a nice day, she said, just like she always does. But father. <coughs> father? <coughs> Are you there, father? Oh, <laughs> for a minute there, I thought you'd left, but I can still hear you breathing. Well, Father, <clears throat> I wish that was the worst thing that I'd done yesterday, but it gets worse, way worse. Last night, Mama's friend Grace's son came and took me for a ride. He tried to kiss me. I made it very clear that I would definitely consider that a sin and I would not be able to entertain that even for a minute. But Father, when he tried to kiss me, I realized that I was getting a little wet and tingly in the area of my private parts. I actually get that way quite often when I'm alone in my bed. Only I never thought that I needed to bring that to confession because I am always very careful to only think pure thoughts whenever I touch myself, and I am alone after all. <coughs> Are you okay, Father? <coughs> so anyway, Father, suddenly I couldn't help myself. My breath started coming in short little gasps. My head felt all woozy. I started to groan, and I heard him groaning too. So, Father, I opened my eyes, and Father, what I saw will be burned into my mind forever. His thing was sticking up. It was so fat and red and kind of covered in veins. Well, except the top. That kind of reminded me of a strawberry. I don't even want to tell you what that made me think of doing with it. He'd been leaning on me pretty hard, Father, so I guess it's no big surprise that he fell forward when I got out of the car. It broke in half. But, Father, here is my dilemma. Did I commit a sin, or did I actually save him from going to hell? Because I certainly stopped him from committing any more sins with it. What do you think, Father? 